Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Web Design with WordPress 101 course. Today I'll show you how to create links in your posts and pages. A link, also known as a hyperlink, is simply a reference to more data which usually returns the data if clicked. You've probably seen links before. They are usually underlined and in blue font so that you are aware they are clickable. Once you click the link, either a new page on the site you are viewing is opened, or a new website is loaded, or perhaps a PDF is displayed. The same can be accomplished using WordPress by adding links. These links don't necessarily have to be text, nor do they have to be blue and underlined. Pictures and images can also link to other content. The process is the same for creating links in posts and pages, so I'll show you how to do so from the post editor. Once the editor is loaded, enter the text you'd like to use for your link. Highlight the text and select the link button on the toolbar near the top of the editor. A pop-up window should be displayed that allows you to create your link. The URL field is where you'll enter the address of the site you wish to link to. The title field allows you to create a tooltip which will be visible to users when they hover over the link. The toggle below allows the link to open a new browser window when the user clicks the link. The advantage to having the link open in a new window is that the user still has a browser window open with your site. This may help keep your visitors from not fully exploring your site because a link on your page took them somewhere else. You can also choose to link to different parts of your WordPress site by using the or link to existing content option. This option allows you to select a post or page that you have already published on your site. If you have a lot of content already published to your site, you can use the search box to locate the content you'd like to link. Once you finish selecting your options, click the Add Link button to create the link. You can test the link by clicking the Preview Changes button and clicking on your newly created link. You can also choose to use an image to link to other content. In order to add a link that is an image, click the Add Media button. One side note about selecting images, if you are using images you found on the web, make sure the owner of the image is okay with you reposting it on your site, or that you are using the image under an exception of the copyright law. Improper use of a copyrighted image could open you up to legal action and unwanted expenses. Once you've selected the image you want to use for your link, scroll down on the right-hand sidebar so you can edit the attachment display settings. The Link To field is where we will select what happens when the image is clicked. The default setting, Media File, creates a link to where the image file is stored on your site. When users click the image with this option selected, they will be directed to a page that contains the full-size version of the image. You can also edit where the image links to once you've added it to the post. Click on the image and click the Edit Image button. At the bottom of the edit pop-up, there is a link URL field. You can use this option to change where the image will link to. Since we initially selected to link back to the media file, the current link should represent where the image is on your site. If you click the None button below the field, your image won't link to anything when it's clicked. If you want to have the image linked to another website, simply type the address into the link URL field on the Edit Image screen. There are additional options you could select for your link under the Advanced Settings tab at the top of the Edit Image pop-up. At the bottom of the screen are the Advanced Link Settings. The title field allows you to create a tooltip for your image that the user will see when they hover over the image with their mouse. The next field allows you to type in a link relationship, which usually represents the connection the link has with your site. Lastly, the target field will allow you to toggle whether you'd like the link to open in a new window. We will explore the CSS class field and the styles field in a future class. Don't forget to click the update button to save your changes. Now your image should link to the site you entered in the link URL field. You can also link to pages on your own site. In order to make doing so easier, you may want to consider utilizing the permalink settings that are the most readable and easiest to remember for not only you, but your visitors as well. One fairly effective permalink structure you can use creates URL addresses for your posts and pages based on their category and post or page name. However, it is not a default option under the common settings, 
so you will have to add it under the Custom Structure field and the Permalink settings. In order to create this permalink structure, type in the following, backslash, percent sign, category, percent sign, backslash, percent sign, post name, percent sign, backslash. Click the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page to make sure your new structure is in place. If you don't recall the category and post name for the particular content you wish to link to, you can always look for the content on the dashboard and copy down the appropriate URL address once the post or page has loaded. Place this link in the Link URL field to link to the content on your own site. The content that you link to doesn't necessarily have to be a post or a page. You can also link to documents such as text files or PDFs. Locate the file you wish to link to in your media library and copy the URL address down for the particular file. Place the address in the link URL field in the edit image option screen to link to the specific document. Let's recap what we've covered in today's class. You can create a link using either text or an image. To create a link using text, simply enter the text you'd like to use for your link in the editor, and then highlight your text and choose the link button. You can also use images and other media as links by adding the media through the Add Media button and specifying the link information under the Link URL field. You can link to content on your own site, whether it is a page, post, or media file. You can also choose to link to other external websites if you desire. That's it for today's class. Thanks for watching on behalf of E3, and stay tuned for the next class in the series.